Hey guys, it's me Erica and I'm so excited to finally film this video, me trying the Dyson Airwrap Complete. As many of you all know, Dyson did give me and Ebony the Dyson Airwrap, so I really wanted to try it out. And I really wanted to try it out on my 12 months post relaxed hair because I do have a lot of new growth and I really wanted to test the true grit of the Airwrap to see if it, um, you know, if it works or not. I haven't seen a lot of videos on the Airwrap with like um, textured hair, so uh, I have seen a few, but not a lot. So that's why I was like, you know what? Let me just do it on 12 months post relaxed hair to see if it, you know, if it really works. I do know that it probably will work on freshly relaxed hair, um, but I don't have that right now. So I do want to try that. Um, I will be trying every um, component of the air wrap. So yeah, I'm just gonna. I just washed my hair, so that's why it's in this little uh, microfiber towel. That is makeup, not dirt. Um, <laughs> So I'm just gonna take it out my wrap. I'm going to use the pre-styler first. And what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to dry your hair a little bit before uh, using the firm smoothing comb or the other smoothing comb. So I just wanna dry my hair a little bit with the pre-styler. All right, so yes, this is my new growth here. Relaxed hair here. <laughs> I'm getting relaxer soon, so don't worry. So I am gonna start off by using, by putting in my leave-in. I'm using the Black Caviar 12-in-1 leave-in. So I'm going to put this in first and then I'm going to use the pre-styler. I do like to let my leave-in sit, so I feel like using the pre-styler would be perfect because my leave-in can just uh, sit on my hair while I'm using it. Alright guys, so that was the pre-styler and I used it on the highest airflow setting and the highest um, heat setting. Um, so yeah, this is just, again, a pre-style, nothing too special about it. It's because you don't really want to go in on super wet hair with the smoothing combs, like I mentioned that before. So I think that's why they included this in here. But yeah, that's basically it. So anyway, I'm just going to section my hair. I'm going to add more of the uh, leave-in. I'm going to section my hair and detangle it. And then I'm going to start using the two um, smoothing brushes that's included in this. So yeah, I feel like it would be a lot easier if I have my hair sectioned as always. So I'm just going to do that really quickly and then I will be back. So now I'm going to be going in with the soft smoothing brush, um, Dyson, then the air wrap, they give you two smoothing brush, the soft and the firming. They said that the soft one is for shorter hair and if you have bangs and the firm smoothing brush is if you have like frizzy hair. So apparently there's not really a difference. I don't know. I'll have to try it out. Yeah, I'm just going to use this one first and then I'll go in with the firm smoothing brush and I'll let you guys know if I notice a difference. And Dyson does use the Coanda effect where they actually use air instead of extreme heat to dry the hair. So, um, which is why a lot of people say Dyson is good with, you know, if you don't want to get heat damage. So I'm going to be doing that. So first I'm going to, and if I'm looking this way, it's my mirror is this way. And it's really hard to film <laughs> hair videos. All right, so this is the section I'm gonna be trying first. So let's see. So first impression, I feel like I did get my new growth kind of straight. Um, I'm going to do some more passes, but I wanted to show you all how it looks right now. This is my hair. I also wanted to go in with the firm smoothing brush so I can see if there's a difference or not. All right, so this is the firm smoothing brush. I feel like the only difference are the bristles. This one's the soft bristle and this is a little bit, the bristles are a little bit hard. Uh, maybe that's why they call it the firm smoothing brush. <laughs> Duh. But yeah, this, these are the bristles here. And, and then the firm smoothing brush has the hard bristles. Again, I'm learning with you guys, learning as I go. So I'm just gonna try this out real quick.
Um, okay, new growth wear. I actually really like this. Um, I actually have the Revlon uh, round brush. I have both the Revlon dryers. They're both great, by the way. Um, but yes, I do feel like this firm smoothing brush, I think it kind of beats it a little bit. But the only reason I say it beats it is because I feel like it gets my new growth a little bit more um, straighter. Can you imagine if I had like newly relaxed hair, then yeah, this thing, I don't even know if I would need a flat iron. Uh, I, I am gonna flat iron my hair just to show you guys how the other tools work, but um, yeah, if you wanna just do a blow dry and just be on your merry way, I think this is the tool for you. Comparing this up here to this, I feel like it I feel like it gets it pretty well. But yeah, I'm just gonna continue doing my hair. I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit. Uh, I may cut some parts out because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna see, I'm not gonna use the soft smoothing brush. I'm just gonna continue using the firm smoothing brush uh, just so I can get it straight quicker. Uh, but yeah, I like it. I'm not done with this side of my hair yet, but I just wanted to stop the process so you guys can see like how well it works with my new growth. Like, look at this. I can just run my fingers through it. I feel like this is really great in setting the um, prep for the flat iron. I'm not gonna do too many passes with the flat iron, but look. Also, my hair feels uh, really soft. I don't know if it's because of this or if it's because of my, um, Black Caviar 12-in-1 Hair Cream. This has uh, heat protectant, detangling, all the leave-in properties it has. But um, yeah, it could be that. All right, I'm gonna finish. All right guys, got the ring light on, losing light, but it's okay. Um, so I'm done with this half. Um, this is how my hair is right now. As you guys can see, there's a little bit of crinkles at the top. I think I did speak too soon. This is not a flat iron. Um, however, I do like the results that it gives. I think I spoke too soon, because like right here, I have the least amount of new growth. I have most of my new growth at the top or kind of the back. So that's kind of where the true test came in. And I did well, not gonna lie, I did well. Um, but yeah, I don't want to say, uh, get rid of your flat irons and just use the firm smoothing brush, but the firm smoothing brush did its thing and it did prep my hair for the flat iron. Again, if I was like newly relaxed, I think I could get away with just using the firm smoothing brush and that's it. So before I go to this side, I do want to use this round brush here and I just want to see if it gives like a little blow out action. I know there's a learning curve with this. Um, you know, I'm already uncoordinated anyway. But a lot of people did use it in their videos and some of them did come out with a blown out look, like that voluminous, like curly type of um, formation with their hair. So I just wanna see if that works with mine. I'm loving how luscious is looking. Uh, but yeah, I just wanna see if that's gonna be the same way with mine, so let's check it out. I'm very uncoordinated, so as y'all can see, I'm probably not even doing it right. But, if I was doing it right. Right, so I feel like if you have like curtain bangs or just bangs in general, I feel like this is great for styling your bangs. This is perfect for that. Also, another thing I just noticed, this is also good for getting your roots too. The firm smoothing brush is good for the roots, but um, yeah, if you really wanna, you know, get the roots straight, I feel like this one is a little bit better for that. Um, but yeah, this one, again, if I knew how to actually, do my hair. I did a little bit of something. 
But yeah, if y'all, if you have like curtain bangs or if you want like the roots of your hair at the front to be like, I don't know, bumped up a little bit, I feel like this is great for that. Um, I have to do more uh, research on how to actually do that, but like I said, I did, uh, did something. All right, so I'm just gonna finish this side with the firm smoothing brush and then onto the barrels because that's what I really wanna try. <laughs> All right guys, I am done. As you guys can see, I will say I have a little bit of some crinklies here at the top, but that's okay. I do feel like, I'm try I don't wanna compare it to the Revlon because Revlon is, even though they're blow dry, both blow dryers, they are different um, and both are great. But this result here, I can get this result with my Revlon um, one step on newly relaxed hair, which is why I feel once I get my hair relaxed and I use the air wrap, it will get it even straighter. So the fact that it got this on new growth hair, on like 12 months post new growth hair, um, says a lot because this is the result I get with the one step when my hair um, is like one month post or something. But um, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to use it. Once I get my relaxer, I am going to use it again and I'll give an update. Um, but if it's getting it this straight with my new growth and all, ooh, there's a force to be reckoned with with the relaxed hair. All right, so here's what I'm going to do with the barrels. Okay, the barrels, I know this is going to be a learning curve. No matter how many videos I watch, the barrels, there are so many ways to use them. So I'm just going to do whatever and see what works for me. I've watched, again, I've watched a lot of videos and a lot of people do it differently. They say you're supposed to do it on damp hair. My hair is fully um, dry. <laughs> um, but I have seen some people use it on dry hair and it works. So I'm gonna use it on dry hair, like how it is now. And then I'm going to flat iron my hair, go off camera, flat iron my hair, come back and use the barrels on flat iron hair. So. Let's try this. All right, so now for the barrels and the Dyson Airwrap, two sizes come, uh, two size barrels come with that, and that is the 1.2 and the 1.6. I'll be using the 1.2 right now, and then I'll use the 1.6. They say the 1.2 creates like uh, voluminous curls and waves, and then the 1.6 produces loose, bouncy curls and waves. So I'll see if there's a difference or not. Um, there is a difference in size. So obviously, one is fatter than the other one. Um, so I'm just going to section my hair. And I, like I said, I'm gonna try this on dry hair. If not, I'll try to damp my hair and see if that works. Just a little trick I learned is once you put this, both of them have different arrows pointing that way and this one is pointing, uh, let's see. Yeah, this one's pointing this way and then the other one's gonna be pointing that way. They say look into a mirror or your viewfinder and if it's pointing that way, that means it's gonna create curls away from your face. So that's what I'm gonna do and and uncoordinated. This is a huge learning curve, I feel like. So I'm gonna try it here. And... So we up for a little bit. Oh! I can't believe I got this in the first try. I really can't. Oh, that's actually really pretty. I know it's gonna fall, but um, that hairspray will do the trick. Um, oh, nice. This piece kind of fell out because it's a little bit shorter. So I'm just gonna use that by itself. 
All right, so I'm gonna go flat out my hair and then I'm gonna test it out with uh, straight hair. All right guys, so my hair is all straight, straight and flat ironed. All right, so now I'm just gonna go in with 1.2 inch barrel and 1.6. Hopefully I won't have to dampen my hair um, because it's supposed to work on damp hair. But as you guys saw on my blow dried hair, it's fine. But I'm not sure since I did straighten it, if it's going to mess it up or not. If I do have to dampen it, I do have a little mystery that I can like uh, mist my hair with. But we're just gonna start. All right, as you guys can see, there really is no method to my madness. I'm just letting the hair, I'm just letting this thing just catch the hair, um, which is kind of part of the Coanda technology. Again, like, I don't know if I'm doing this right, but listen, as long as it catches it, I'm good. There's so many different ways to do this. Uh, as you can see, it is a little loose, so these are definitely going to fall. I'm probably gonna have to hairspray these in. But the good thing about this, you can touch up your curls with this. Um, because it does use the Coanda effect, you aren't gonna get like a lot of heat damage or any heat damage at all. So, um, yeah, as you see, the curls already falling. So I'm just gonna do this for the sake of the video. I'm not gonna like hairspray it. I'm just gonna let these curls fall. I just want you guys to see how it works. Also, I do a cool shot. I don't know if I told you guys, but you do a cool shot to kind of cool off the hair so that it will kind of hold and kind of like it's like a finish for the curl. All right, guys, so this is the 1.6, the bigger one. So I'm gonna try that one. All right, so this is definitely the looser one. I'm gonna do the rest of my hair, so just so I, I can wrap it, and then it'll hopefully it'll come out with a little bit of bounce in the morning, but yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna go through this, and you guys can, uh, I'm just gonna fast track this. All right, you guys, so I just finished my whole head. And as you guys can see, it gives a little bit of a wave and body. That's the thing, it does give body because the curls all fall out. Um, but, like this side, this is falling out. But I do feel like, again, I need hairspray, some sort of hold. Um, I'm actually about to go wrap my hair now because it is a little bit late anyway and I'm about to go to bed, um, but yeah. This is the, yeah, these are the results. And I feel like this is also user error. This is my first time using the air wrap and it's all on camera. So, I mean, I feel like I did pretty good. I thought I was gonna be like struggling with like one strand for the longest time, like getting it to connect to the barrel. Um, but it connected pretty well being that it wasn't uh, wet or anything. It's kind of like a blowout. Like after you finish your blowout, you get this like nice little bounce. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to use some sort of styling product next time because there's nothing in my hair. All right, so my thoughts on the product. Is it worth 500, almost 600 bucks? Um, I do think that the Airwrap could be uh, less than five something. However, Ebony and I were saving our money to buy this before we even knew we were gonna get this. Um, but I personally think, okay, so here's what I think. I think that Dyson should have this thing where like people can like build a kit um, instead of having just like the air complete in a, um, like everything just included in a box. Like I feel like everybody should just go on the website and be able to pick what they want in the box. Um, again, that would have helped me. I probably would have left out the pre-styler. I personally don't think the pre-styler is, um, it didn't really do anything for me. I feel like you can just let your hair air dry a little bit before you even use the uh, firm smoothing comb. Um, but I saw some videos where a lot of girls were using the pre-styler and a lot of girls were, um, 
I feel like they got more out of the pre-styler. I personally didn't. My favorite tools in the air wrap were the smoothing combs um, and I did like the round brush. Um, I did like that. I do like the barrels. However, again, I knew there was gonna be a learning curve, um, but I do wanna get a little bit, you know, kinda get the hang of it a little bit more before I even say, hey, it's worth it. Um, like again, try different like holding products try it when my hair is wet just just trying different methods to see which method works for me so i'm not going to like rule those out completely because i've seen them work for other people i know they can work for me but i do like where dyson is going with the um coanda effect and not using um a lot of heat um for heat damage but yeah like i said i would just do like a build a kit type thing because some people again i have longer hair so i would have put the long inch barrel in my um my kit i would have put the i probably would have put only one um, smoothing comb in my kit I probably would have left out the uh, pre-styler and I feel like once you the more you add to your kit maybe the more I guess the more expensive it'll be but I feel like to make it affordable and more useful for people and not make people feel like oh this is a waste of money I should have spent like over almost five six hundred dollars on this I feel like maybe they should do something like that if you do decide to invest in it it really isn't a waste of money at all I do think it is overpriced um, but it does the job a lot of people say it works very well for their hair um, again, no heat damage. That's the main point. I'm driving home because nobody wants heat damage. And I do like that I can use the um, the barrels or I can like touch up my curls or something. Or I can like use it like every other day, every two days and I don't have to worry about heat damage. Obviously, I would still use a heat protectant. But yeah, I just need to get the hang of the barrels and that'll be good. But yeah, let me know if you guys have the Dyson Airwrap. Uh, I definitely will be using this again. Like, like I said, I do like the, the sperm smoothing comb. And I can't wait to use it once I do get my relaxer to see how straight it can get my hair. Um, Cause again, it got it pretty straight and I had a lot of new growth. But yeah, let me know if I did anything wrong. Uh, let me know what you guys do. Uh, like I said, I saw so many videos and everybody was using it different. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.